Hey, good morning, all. Um, I'm going to kind of reverse things a little bit here. I'm going to start out with devotions and then go uh, on to the calendar. So I'm going to start out with devotions and what I learned yesterday in week three of Advent. Uh, today's, you know, December 12, 12, 12, 22. Um, so again, I'm going to start with, um, with my notes here. So week three it was a different Advent uh, sermon than I've heard in the past, but I really appreciated it. And um, I think it was really, really important. And I'll get to why it was important once I kind of dive in because I need to share what it was about and then I'll share why, why it was important. So it was on Psalm 137. And basically the psalm is... Uh, it's a lament. In other words, the, the writer of this psalm is really sad. Um, they're a long ways from home. They're homesick. And they're really, really sad. <clears throat> and so, again, I'll dive into why that's important in just a second. Um, so, Pastor Joel uh, uh, shared a story about when he was uh, a camp counselor he had a, this student, fourth grader, who was really, really homesick. Um, just every day, just was struggling and weeping and was sad. And what was so crazy is I was, um, I was the director of, of a camp uh, for many years. And um, I remember way back when I had a fourth grader who was... Um, who was really, really homesick. And the crazy part is now, he and his wife now attend my church. <clears throat> so as Pastor Joel is telling this story, uh, he sits on the other side. You know, you kind of sit where you, you always sit at church. He sits on way on the other side of the church. And all of a sudden, he and I both, because there was people in between us, he and I both leaned back in our in our pew and looked at each other and we just had this big huge smile like he's describing what happened to us over a decade ago, a decade and a half probably ago. <laughs> so it was it was pretty wild. I just I remember this this young man just being really really sad. So this part Anyway, it was, it was pretty wild. So um, in Advent, you know, it's so easy during this season to think um, Advent and this joyful, amazing thing. And aren't we all supposed to be so happy? And there's no, how could you possibly cry? We're celebrating Christmas and the birth of Jesus and Advent. And, and yet, and yet... There's plenty of grief. Um, we're going to celebrate our first Christmas without our nephew around. And I'm sure many of you um, have, have similar thoughts. Uh, and this is going to be the first Christmas since whatever. So I don't want to be a downer, but I also have to just, let's just say what it is. This can be a really difficult time for families. And um, the so here's kind of the final thing is we lament. In other words, we're sad. And so we make space for grief and sadness um, for the joy of Christ, of Christ's coming, right? So we want so desperately for Christ to be here now, like now, to wipe away all the sadness that we might feel during this time. Challenges at home, challenges with friends, challenges wherever. Um, so yes, there's room in this happy, fun, we're having spirit week this week and it's gonna be funny and all that. Yes, awesome. But there's also room for sadness and grief um, and, uh, and, and so then because of that lament, because of that sadness, we look forward to Christ's coming to wipe all that away. So anyway, 
that's kind of think about that's kind of what what the service was about it was really healthy it was a healthy balance um with all the tinsel and celebration and everyone's supposed to be happy and presence and but yet underneath or right alongside is sadness and lament um and so anyway i thought that was really really a healthy perspective that there is space in this advent season for grief and because of that uh, uh, sadness and grief, we look forward to Christ's coming. So anyway, that was what I learned uh, yesterday, um, Psalm 137. All right. All right, so let's move on to the calendar. Somewhat busy week here, and I've got a few things on my notepad that I want to share as well. So obviously, it's Spirit Week. Today is uh, PJ Day. We have a sixth grade shadow student today. Welcome, Jade. And uh, and then tonight is Coco's and Carol's, our middle school and high school choirs, and the ja high school jazz band is in uh, the dining hall tonight at 6.30. Really looking forward to that. Um, not much happening in the middle of the week. And then chapel, we have Finn, sixth grader, and his dad sharing about their incredible mission trip that they took uh, a few weeks ago. So super excited to have that short, uh, story shared um, in chapel on Thursday. Friday, half day, um, we've got a fun uh, treat activity planned for you. It's going to be a surprise for you Friday morning. And then uh, right around 10 o'clock, we will depart for uh, ice skating. There's no cost to you. You can bring your own skates, no hockey sticks or anything like that. Uh, but you, there's no cost, and you can bring your own ice skates, okay? And then I bring my own, so, yep, bring your own. And then we'll arrive back between 11.30 and 11.45 around there, head right to your homerooms, get your stuff together, and then we will do car line at noon. So, um, so again, ice skating, it's super fun. It's a tradi tradition that we've done over the last forever years. Uh, and we skate at that big complex down on County Line Road. Um, <clears throat> it's it's just east of Colorado Boulevard um, on County Line Road. So really looking forward to that. There's your dining hall cleanup crew uh, right there. Charlie, Mara, Kayla, Elin, Paige, David, and Jack. Okay, you have to hang around afterwards, make sure everything's tidy and cleaned up. All right, <clears throat> uh, a couple things. One is our checkpoint session, the executive functioning that has gone really, really well. Uh, lately, these last three weeks, it's just been fantastic. And so a new session is, is uh, getting ready to launch. So we'll send that link out. Uh, it'll be on under clubs. This checkpoint is not updated yet, but it will be soon. And then the speech and debate will be updated soon as well. And uh, we've got a lot of interest in um, the zero hour elective for praise and worship, the praise team. So we're going to be sending out some details about that. It'll happen um, in the morning before school. You're going to have to negotiate and figure out the whole basketball practice thing. The chances of your basketball team overlapping with um, praise and worship is not great, right? In other words, you should be able to avoid that. But if it overlaps, just talk to your coaches, talk to Mr. Witters, and we'll figure that out. But we've got a ton of interest in that. In fact, we might have to break up into multiple teams of praise and worship teams, which we've had to do in the past, and it's no problem. We can totally do that. So more details will be coming out soon. Uh, again, spiritual emphasis or uh, sp spiritual emphasis. Spirit uh, Spirit Christmas week is this week. Dress code applies. And then, lastly, uh, last week was the best lunch session we've had all year, and I am so proud of you. You just flat out stepped up your game. Um, you thought of others first. You were patient. We cleaned up well. Uh, let's keep it going this week. Four days this week, and then we'll come back and do it again. Um, after break. But anyway, just so proud of you. And, and I'm really thankful. Like I'm really, really thankful. So anyway, I, <clears throat> I believe that's it. 
Uh, I believe that's it. Yeah. Anyway, all right. Love you all. Be good. Take care. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you in the halls and the classrooms. Take care. Bye.